I got a tweet here from Charles Watts. Martinelli made 26 sprints more than any other Arsenal player. The second highest, Saka and Lacazette of 11. Chelsea's highest was 14. Martinelli, he ran the whole length of the pitch and scored. He ran 34.11 kilometers an hour. That's like 20 something miles an hour. All right. He ran the length of the pitch and he scored. He got a bit lucky because Kante slipped, but still, he ran the length of the pitch and scored. He's 18 years old. 18. We got something special right here with, with, with this kid. I hope he stays for a long time because this kid has got potential. All right, so thoughts on the actual game then. So this season, we've drawn the most games out of anyone and we draw way too often and we don't win enough. We've won two games in the last three months. It's really bad. It's not a good record to have. We're playing better recently, but we're still not getting the wins. And the last two games, I was very frustrated. Pretty much any time we've drawn or lost this season, I've been frustrated, to be honest. Like, at least in the last few months anyway. This game, I'm a bit more content with. I'm not exactly that happy, but I'm still more content because I was expecting a loss today. Um, the way the last two games have gone and the fact that Chelsea beat us in December when we were leading 1-0 as well, they started late on. Um, that, that game killed me. It absolutely killed me, that 2-1 game. So I had no hope for this game, honestly. I thought we'd lose. Um, and the fact that we were, were down to 10 men, we had one man down for most of the game. We went behind twice, 1-0 and 2-1, and we still came back and equalized twice. In the context of that, and the fact that I thought we'd lose, I'll take a 2-2 draw. That first goal though, Mustafi gave the ball away. I mean, I don't No comment, no comment, right? He gave, he gave the ball away, and then David Luiz got himself sent off because he brought down Abraham, and then Jorginho scored the penalty. So at this point, I thought, it's too been gloom. Like, it's all gonna go wrong from here because we're one nil down. We're one nil down to Chelsea. 10 men, Stamford Bridge, it's going to be a long night. Um, so I was, I was expecting the worst. To be fair, their home record of recent months has not been too good anyway, but their big game record has been all right. So uh, I was still worried, but we did equalize eventually. Martinelli, fantastic goal. 18 years old, flipping 18 years old and he's doing that. He did get a bit lucky. Kante slipped and you know, he got a lucky touch as well. Still, that's pretty damn impressive that goal I feel, especially for him. A great goal from him and then they scored with six minutes to go and uh, at this point I thought it's <laughs> at this point I didn't have much hope not gonna lie but three minutes later Bellerin scored uh, from outside the box a nice left foot shot into the far corner I'll take it based on the game how the game went I'll definitely take it uh, but yeah we need to get results we need to get wins but as for the league itself our next league game is in like 12 days I think then there's a two-week break two week winter break so uh, not much Premier League to look forward to for Arsenal for at least a few weeks anyway. There's, there's still Burnley away Sunday the 2nd of February then there's a two week break until we play Newcastle which I'll go to that game as well. But our next game in general is the FA Cup. On Monday night Bournemouth v Arsenal. FA Cup is the best chance of a trophy. No Aubameyang but I'm hoping that we win that game. So yeah Monday night bring it on. Bring it on Bournemouth. Let's do this. This is your boy David off. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day and see ya. I roll the dice, see where life takes me. I've been feeling down on these nights lately. But I know that I got so much to give. Never forget, but I can learn to forgive. Yeah. I roll the dice, see where life takes me. I've been feeling down.